Okay guys, today we are going to start a new survival just for the purposes of videos alone on Subnautica and I really hope that we make some good progress here. And uh, let's just see how far we go into this rabbit hole called Subnautica, which I love so much. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it for the views, guys. But let's let's do it for the passion of gaming as well. And not let's not yet to forget to mention. Let's do it. So one day these videos will be on the internet forever, and kids will watch it and be like, you know what? I want to be a gamer. I want to make video games, supplying the passion for the future to make more great games like this and many others. I truly am compassionate about video games and music among many other things I'm not going to say on YouTube but uh, those things are positive just private matters. I really need to stop talking. I I'm, I'm being in a, a bit overly existential. I'm just excited about making a, another uh, profile in here. Let's see what kind of improvements we can make. And I, I was thinking maybe building the base, the new base, in a more, um, how shall we say, vast location. Like, not in the safe shallows. The safe shallows, I mean, safe shallows, they're, uh, they're, they're pretty cool, but... They are not ideal. They're safe. Just safe. I want something interesting, not necessarily safe. Safe is good when you're starting, but for the people watching, they, they, they want to see some cool stuff, but they want to um, see it in a, in a way that's good. That, that 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 grabs their interest and keeps their interest. So uh, let's let's do that. I get ready for that it's fire extinguisher. Right there. Okay, guys. If I could get one like from Jack Septicai and a simple hello. I would greatly appreciate it. I love your videos. And, uh, uh, I'm pretty sure you already know 8 the Guitar Lord. Watch him as well, and Eddie Six. I never forget to, um, you know, help out. YouTubers gotta stick together. This PDA has now been in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for details. Now, for those of you who don't know, I'm going to try not to talk too much, but what you must know is that I have played this before many times, and I am going to say that my joystick is kind of messed up just as of right now I will get it fixed soon enough but as of right now that's why I keep pointing up I'm pointing down a little bit to avoid the uh, the um, the thing so if okay we got we got Gary fish Gary's a good fish okay for those of you who don't know, Gary is a good fish. Okay? So, uh, let, let's, uh, get some of this titanium. And do you want to know something else? This right here is a better source of titanium. I'll show you why. Okay, we gotta get that oxygen. And that thing's gonna explode eventually. So, you know, just saying. I gotta keep focused, and uh, I'm sorry if you hear anything in the background, you know, having pets isn't exactly optimal for video purposes, but other people 
you know, definitely favor having pets, so that's their decision. Okay, I'm gonna make a uh, O2 tank, because I'm gonna need it. And I am going to maybe uh, get some other stuff. So what I'm going to do here is, oh, yeah, got more oxygen now. See, I'm already getting stuff done. And me, I know that I need to get some useful materials to uh, basically make this happen. And, uh, you know, um, we, we, we got to find some plants. Like, we got to find some of this stuff. Those of you who don't know, the creature you just heard is not as scary as they look. When you first start playing, they're, they're pretty scary. But that, the, the, the creature is not really that bad. So, okay. So, um, you know, a lot of YouTubers, uh, you know, you'll hear uh, sounds in the background that irritate them and they simply manage it. But I have a very creative way of avoiding um, distractions by making it very obvious that I'm recording and don't want additional noise in the background and we'll deal with the backlash from my statements later. Okay, guys, let's get back to the video. Um... So, uh, sorry about that, you know, sometimes even YouTubers have to deal with things outside their control. Okay, um, copper is an essential of course copper is. Yes, I would say that's true. Now, where is the knife? I need a knife. Need silicone rubber, of course I need silicone rubber because that's the thing that I did not bother to make. Silicone rubber? Of course, I will make silicone rubber. Now check who texts me. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, now let's just uh, put this plant in here because we don't know what we need it for yet. And, uh, for example, let's go here, let's go here, let's go here. Do you know what I just made? See what I'm making? See that cool stuff? That doesn't come easy. That's, that's called experience in Subnautica. Eventually, everyone can reach that point. Now I need cave sulfur, and that is fairly easy to get. But I do have to say I have to go through here and grab this. That's a very valuable material. It might not seem like it at the rate I'm getting it, but it is very valuable. Uh, oh, okay. As well as this. And this. And this material. This material. Okay, let's not get too much of one thing. Okay, let, let's, let's just... Remember that. Don't get too much of one thing. We need to keep focused even though we're very excited for part one. And very excited to grab the water. Okay. Let's go back up here, guys. And let's uh, swim to safety, so to speak. Just for a moment. We don't want to get too safe. We want to we wanna still be curious. Curiosity did not kill the cat in Subnautica. Okay, maybe it did a few times. Or more than once. Okay, M maybe not get too curious, but just get curious enough to keep, you know, in mind. We need to be, uh, fairly, um, focused in the game. Okay, uh, yeah, we, we need to make a builder tool as well, so let let's just stay focused for right now. Let's uh, get some of these mushroom guys, but not too many mushroom. Not too many, just enough. We just need enough. We need to make a battery. Those of you who don't know, batteries, very important in Subnautica. So like, let's get that, let's get that, uh, that, uh, those materials that are kind of difficult to 
But I'm on two when you're going really fast. Uh, swimming too fast. Okay, I can't grab it, apparently. So, like, let's just, uh, let's just dive in, see what we can do. Uh, I'm guessing that this is an, a thing that I will have to definitely get to. I'm going to swim through here quickly. And I'm going to go up. And you're going to see why in a minute. Oxygen. Yes, I know. I'm running out of oxygen. That is very apparent to one such as myself in the position I'm in right now. So, um... Let's just uh, get to it. Let's, um, first of all, don't grab too many materials. I know it's tempting, but something we need to remember about Subnautica is that despite the fact we need many materials, some materials we need to acquire first. Therefore, we need to, we need to dive into a dangerous situation so that we can get that uh, explosive uh, fish out of the way. Is an essential component of the repair tool. And that's a repair tool that we need. Oh, you can see him right there. Okay, there, 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 we got it. We got it. We got it, guys. We got it. Okay, now, what we need to do is get this. Because we can't pass this up. We can't pass up this good stuff here. You see that? You see all that good materials? We might drown, but it's worth it. Can't be afraid. You gotta keep going. Okay, we gotta keep going. We gotta get back right now. Just don't panic. Panicking is what kills us. See, if I would've panicked, I, I would've went to the wrong place in space and done the wrong thing at the wrong pace. I made a run, but I'm wasting time. And <laughs> I made another run. Damn it. <laughs> Oh, sorry about the language, guys. But, you know, let, let's not focus on that too much. Let's, uh, keep it. Okay, now, um... It doesn't feel like 15 minutes, but maybe it's just because I'm very time conscious. And I have a slice of OCD. Okay, guys. Let's, uh, see what we can do here. Because we need to do a lot in a very short amount of time. Because what time is it, guys? I don't know what time it is. Okay. I will have to do something in a while after a few videos that I record. Okay, so we need a repair tool. We got the repair tool. So, what do we need for the scanner tool? We need a battery. You know what we need for a battery? I can tell you we probably already have it. Oh, we just need a little slice of copper. That's all we need. We just need a little bit of copper. You know how much copper that is? That's not a lot. That's just one copper we need. Oh, what do we got? Got gold. I don't want gold. Not right now. Not anyways, right now. Okay, now you're probably wondering, um, where am I gonna find copper? Well, I would say the best place to look is to simply go back here. And what we need to do is... We need to chase that because... You have to kind of throw them to, to turn them on, unfortunately. Uh, apparently I didn't throw it, which is good. Now I can use it as like a... A flashlight and that's very good oh wait I missed it okay guys well, right now we're just kind of getting some oxygen real quick we don't really need a lot but we do need some uh, we need to pull out the knife and get some of this good stuff here and you know what we can make with this? We can make some stuff that we really need. And do you know what we need? We need to be able to heal. We can't heal without a med kit. Oh, oh, too much. Too much in my inventory. Let's just go for it. 
But first, let's not lose sight of what's keeping us alive. 